Brendan, welcome back to Kicking Tables. It's it's so great to have you on again to talk about yet another game that you're working on. This time we're catching you before your Kickstarter. Yeah, you know, so Hey, yeah. Th we had thanks you. again for having me, guys. Yeah, no problem. We had you last on for Stars of Akarios. Now we want to talk about Mythwind. Uh, this game sounds very intriguing. Tell us what what is Mythwind? What is this game? Yeah, so Mythwind is an open-ended cooperative asymmetrical board game and i know those are those are my buzzwords uh when when, when i go into this but essentially mythwind uh you and your friends take the role of um of a pioneer uh, as you enter into this magical valley called mythwind and you go about setting up a new town um exploring the region and and just just progressing um in your role and so you know, when when I kind of talk about this game, I I, I ask if if you're a fan of of video games like Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley yeah, or okay. Harvest Moon, okay, like these types of games where you know the the goal isn't to beat the other player or to 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 win so much as your goal is to to grow um, and discover and adventure and and so that's that's what we're doing with Mythwind. You know, I wow. I, I didn't really see many games that uh, that did this, right? And so uh, we're we're trying to capture capture that feeling of of growing uh, in our game. That is so intriguing. Wow. That, yeah, that's that's amazing. You've you've got my attention already. That's yeah. so <laughs> great. Where where did you come up with the idea for this? It was what was it that sort of sort of was it games like was it video games that sort of triggered your your thoughts yeah. towards this thing or was it or did it spark somewhere else? Yeah, so I I, I love I love cooperative games. That's kind of like yeah. Yeah, I play a lot of games mm. with my wife. Yeah. Um. And 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 so we play a lot of cooperative games. Most of the time, it's like killing stuff. Um, or 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 not yeah. being killed like in pandemic or something right right yeah <laughs> and and we had actually just um uh we we had just purchased uh, uh stardew valley for for xbox and we we're playing co-op and stuff okay. and i was really just thinking i was like man why why isn't there an experience like this um in in a board game form and i know i know the stardew valley board game just showed up and and i, I i've never played it so i'm not speaking to whether it's good or right. bad but yeah. but i know that the board game actually doesn't capture what what i want from okay. from uh from from the game that that mythwind is which is you know a game that is living and breathing and you know when when i pitched it to to my boss he's like oh brennan this is like the the bonsai tree of board games right you know you 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 take out the bonsai tree you you trim it up a little bit and and then you put it away and and that's that's the idea we're going for you know you, yeah. you take out mythwind you, you you play a couple of days you play a couple of seasons you you grow your town and 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 you, and you put it away and, and you pull it out and and you know, it's this living breathing thing that, so i'm curious how it plays because the description on uh, Board Game Geek is that each role that a player can choose in Mythwind is completely unique. One may be rooted in action yeah. selection, the other in deck building or worker placement. My mind went, what? Could you explain that? How, how, how does that work? Yeah, yeah so in there, there's, there's a couple of aspects. Um, there's there's the town uh, that is the central kind of um, aspect of Mythwind. So you know, imagine like uh, um, spokes coming out from from the center of of a wheel. Okay. Uh, the, okay. at, at, at the at the center is the town, and so every player uh, can interact with the town in in the same way. Um, and you know, there's different things you can do in the town, whether it's increasing you know the town's resources or building buildings or going on an adventure. Um, these are all aspects that kind of happen in the town. But um, each player, kind of you know, doing the spokes uh, analogy, each player actually interacts with their own role differently. So, so the two announced that we have right now are are the farmer and the crafter. Okay. Um, and and the farmer, uh, the farmer actually plays like a like a polyonimo uh, type game. Uh, so you you are you are building your farm, and there's certain um, certain tiles that are permanent. And they, they permanently stay on your farm, and, and crops as you place them and and combine them. Um, you know, you cash out, you harvest them. They're kind of rotating, and and, and the crafter is actually uh, it, it's a bag building um, type game, and so uh, as both of these roles interact with the town, they're actually doing stuff in on their own kind of player board on their own tableau uh, uniquely. That's wow. So. 
you said it's an ongoing game so are you like saving progress somehow and and like, yeah can so you can we, you play with certain people one time and then play solo the next time how how does that work yeah so we're we're doubling down on uh on on game trays and on kind of uh, unique storage solutions um okay. so the town hmm. itself is uh is, is two two kind of 300 by 300 uh, millimeters so like two feet kind of, kind of by one feet okay uh, one foot um and and both of these have have you know, they'll have a lid and so these um will the town will uh you know build buildings that will kind of like lock into place oh. um your your town's resources kind of uh um, increase or decrease and all that locks into place and so everything kind of stays where it is you know the lid goes on snap shut boom and the same thing happens with with the player boards um, wow. So as you're progressing, as you're leveling up, you know, the, the, all the skills, they, they can increase their abilities different ways. And so say you unlock um, like, like a botany skill for the farmer uh, or green, or sorry, one is called green thumb. And um, so you take, you take the green thumb tile, you slot it into the player board and, and to, to close it up again, it's lid up. And so and it's locked to, in. It, yeah, it's locked in. So the, the thing that stays the same game to game, regardless of who's playing, is is the town. So so the town is kind of like the, the permanent-esque piece. So if I'm playing solo, um, I'm sitting down with a farmer. I could actually play with a farmer for a year, you know, a year of gameplay, uh, two years of gameplay. And then, you know, like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to actually work and try the crafter now. So the farmer progressed, you know, it's saved, it's, it's going to go away. I'm, I'm going to pick up the okay. crafter. And and I'm still actually going to contribute to this town that I've already been building up, and you know there's this ongoing story that's that's developing. But but I'm going to you know grow this this different role, this crafter. And um, do you still ahead. have the skill? Do you still have the skills? Like say you you start as the farmer, you still the farmer's skills are still leveled up to where you level them up, and you can come back to that farmer. Yeah, assuming assuming you don't want to start a farmer from from scratch, right? Um, and then you know we'll, we'll probably come up with a was a nice way to 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 maybe reset a farmer but then to save a farmer it's just yeah. how how we have the state you know we want the game to be playable in under five minutes and, yeah. and oh, i'm wow. thinking it might even be less because of how we're doing these uh doing these trays just take it um, out of the box and go type thing yeah. that's it, it no, reminds that's, that's, me yeah. It reminds me of World of Warcraft, the professions in World of Warcraft, the way you're, you know, like you can, you oh, can yeah. start as, as one thing. It's like, yeah, I'm done with this. I want to do this. And you, you start leveling up from, from zero in a, in a new profession. It's, that's uh, absolutely one of the coolest things I've, I've heard. Yeah, no, and, and so that's great. And so the, this, and this is where we're doing maybe something a little, well, I think, I think it's unique in, in the board game space, um, but in, in our in, in, in the first box, you know, we're, we're going to release two boxes in Kickstarter. The yep. first box is going to be the town, the farmer, and the crafter. Okay. Um, and then we have a, we have a second box uh, that is the, the woodsman and, and the trader. Um, and so we can actually, you can actually play the game with, with you know, four or, or more people because how okay. the game scales is, is quite easy. Uh, you just, like, because each of the roles is you know they're doing two things right they're they're progressing themselves right the farmer wants to become a better farmer but the end goal of all the roles the end goal of the farmer is to actually um help the town prosper and and so all of the roles actually feed into the town and so we have a fairly easy way of um uh of like scaling that based off of how many players it's it's, it's just a linear it's it's a linear scale right so how hard is it to um benefit the town well okay how many players are there um right and so you can play the game with you know one two three four more people and uh and then the game scales nicely is it like a is there a, is it a campaign that you're following along like how does how does a game end yes yeah, so, so does the game it? doesn't it or the does game it doesn't end. Oh, okay um and and this is this is where that the the phrase open ended is is yeah. key. You you will come to the end of of the story, um, okay. but when the story ends, that the game doesn't end. Um, uh, if if you wanted to kind of reset and, and you know play through, you know and, and experience different parts of the story, you, you totally could. Okay. Um, the the story is told through kind of event cards. And event cards are uh, you, you, your event deck grows um, as you make different choices, right? So it, it gets fed um, okay. based off of the choices that you make. 
Um, but you know, something happens, you know, if let's say you, you, you just buy the first box and then you're like, you know what, I, I really like this game. I want to experience, you know, these different roles. So, so you buy, um, the second box, um, that, that second box is actually going to come with its own kind of like stories that then get kind of shuffled in to, to, to the main story. And so you get this like living, breathing thing. And, you know, our goal is to have multiple, multiple kind of boxes. Yeah. And so if, if, if people, if people love the world of Mythwind, uh, they, they can kind of experience it as, as much or as little as, as they would like, really. So okay. the game isn't, uh, it's not a legacy style where it's not, it's not permanently changing. It can be completely reset and start from zero again. Okay. Yes, 100%. Now, with a yeah. character, so you were talking about the farmer and the crafter in the base, base game. If the farmer is partly built up, can players just switch roles if they want to? Say, I'm going to yeah. be a crafter uh, now, and Tico's going to be the farmer after he built up the crafter for a while, and we're now we're going to switch roles. You, just, you can just take whatever role yeah. you want. That's cool. So, yeah, at, at that point, you know, if if you guys switched, right, um, yeah. you would, would either decide to, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to play as as your farmer, right, or I'm going to play as this farmer, and, you know, you, right. you've named, named the farmer Bob or whatever. Um, or it's like, you know what, I, I actually want to start a new farmer. So then, you know, the farmer kind of goes back to level zero. Even We don't have levels in the game, but essentially would go back to level zero and, right. and you can start the progression uh, from that farmer again. And, and, and really, you know, you're still going to be experiencing the story um, mm -hmm. wherever you're at in the story. The story's not going to reset. And the town, um, if you don't want it to, it won't reset either. Um, okay. And so you're going to get experience the benefits of, of all the improvements that you made uh, to your town. Are the characters, are the players interacting with each other in, in any way? Yes. Yeah, so the interaction, just like we envision kind of like these these old school kind of pioneer towns, mm -hmm. that interaction actually happens in the town itself. Okay. Um, so one of the, you know, cool things with Mythwin, it's not just like, you know, pioneer-esque. There's this strong magical element uh, to the game and... <laughs> And if, if you check out uh, artwork for, for Mythwind, you'll see all these sprites, these like really cool uh, magical creatures. And, um, and what happens is as you kind of discover the secrets of the valley and, and grow the population of your town, you're going to be given access to um, both uh, workers and sprites. And, and these are kind of custom dice. And so okay. these, these dice kind of populate um, in, in the center of your town. And so players can actually go to the center and recruit workers or sprites into their player boards. Um, and then you, you kind of get these workers or sprites that basically supercharge the actions of, of your player themselves. And so you, the, the interactions between players is the cooperative sense of like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to take a couple of the of the sprites, you know, okay, great, I'm going to take a couple of the workers. Hey, how about we work towards building the tavern in, in you know, in a month? And so, you okay. know, the tavern requires four production and two income. So it's like, okay, you know what, my person's really good at doing production. It's like, okay, great, my person's great at doing income. And so the, co the cooperate like the, the the interaction is less like you know take that or here right. I'm gonna give you that. It's more like okay here's our goal. H how do we work together to achieve that to goal? To make it happen. That's yeah. that's really cool. How how do you how do you play test a game that doesn't end? <laughs> like uh, like <laughs> like you you, you want to make sure that the strong mechanic is is there. Um, and I like I'm gonna get in trouble for saying that the game doesn't end. Um, but the reality is people could keep on playing it. Uh, they might run out of content. Okay. Um, okay. I, I think it would take quite a bit for them to run out, write, uh, run out of content. Gotcha. But, hey, there's, you know, we were speaking about World of Warcraft before, right? Everyone run, runs out of content eventually, um, and then they yeah. add another expansion, or, you know, people go back and right. le level up a new character, <laughs> right? And so you, you, you can play test. The, the core mechanics are really, really strong. Um, and then, you know, the story kind of comes on top of that. That's awesome. So you mentioned, you know, a couple of different boxes. How many, do you have like a set number of boxes that are planned? Um, or is it just going to continue to build as you, you know, figure out, you know, blacksmith, whatever else you can fit into this village? Yeah, we, we have a... Um, we have a couple more after these kind of initial two, but okay. uh, what we want to do is kind of get the feedback uh, from our community, you know, the community that's growing, right. um, yeah. see what uh, jives with players and what, what doesn't. Um, 
and and the nice the really cool thing is like the the lore is rich in this world um and and the opportunity is 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 rich because we we have we love kind of the the foundation that we're building on um and so we're we're hoping that people like it because then it's like okay there's there's a lot of potential here awesome awesome well brendan last time you were on the show of course we did our lightning round with you i want to do it again completely different questions so we're going to get to know you even better you ready for this okay all right let's do it you know how it works all right game you most want to add to your collection oh um shoot what is that one the ryan lockett one is it sleeping gods oh nice yeah 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 uh deck builder or deck constructor i don't is it bad that i don't know the difference deck builder (laughs) okay yeah Deck constructor would be something like Magic the Gathering. Oh, versus yeah. Dominion. Hey, oh. No, 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 no. I'm I'm going back. Deck constructor. Okay. All right. I love uh, I love I love me a draft mode. There you go. Worker placement or area control? Hmm. Depends on what I'm feeling. Area control. Okay. Uh competitive or cooperative? I think I know the answer. Well, okay. With my wife, cooperative. With some of my friends, competitive. All right. Uh, okay, so you're gonna have to think back to this one. First game you ever played? And, uh, uh, I I have early memories of playing chess with my dad. I know that's not my first game I ever played, but I have oh, early memories. That's fair. Uh, favorite classic game? The oldies, but the goodies. Does Does chess count? Yeah, sure. 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 That's that's I'll, that's one of the classic. Of that classics. is probably one of the most classic games. That's great. I, yeah, I, I love chess. All right, what's a game you always win? Uh, uh Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. And finally, yeah. purchasing games, local game store or online? <laughs> uh, for me, it's whatever is convenient, and sometimes it means I want the game today, and so I drive to my store. <laughs> I literally, Tico and I were talking similar just be- just before we recorded. All right. Again, give us your final thoughts on Mythwind and tell people why they should back this game. Hey, if you're interested in a new gaming experience that you can uh, sit down with a friend or by yourself and enjoy growing uh, a village in a mysterious frontier, I, th- I think Mythwind's worth checking out. It's dropping on Kickstarter, hopefully September 13th. And until then, you can Google Mythwind and find us in all the places. Yeah, all the links are in the description below, so check them out. Great. Brendan, thanks again for joining us for Mythwind. I'm excited for this game, and good luck with the campaign. Hey, thanks guys so much. Hey, y'all, thanks for joining us us today make sure to subscribe down below uh if you're interested in learning more about mythwind just make sure to give us a google or head out to uh, mythwindgame.com you can find more information there again thanks for joining us and subscribe below